as you can see, once again, our God is our life and wealth. Because people think, oh, we are not only against God. We have the information that we need to understand who is doing what and what is doing who, so that we can keep things moving. So you can see that they never let. They've put things in place so that they can continue to funnel our money down to their pipeline. It belongs to them. So they don't have to do all these things, come and stay in your uh, country and, you know, enslave you and put chin on your neck. No, that's too much. Wahala. Why would they be doing that when they can be drinking red wine by the Cayman uh, uh, Island? They don't have time for that. So the only way we can overcome these challenges, I don't even know if I should call them challenges, revelations, <laughs> for those of us that are confused, we have an answer for it. And it is the Nina strategy. That's the only thing that will truly, truly return our sovereignty back to the indigenous peoples, to the owners of the land. Anything else will not suffice. Anything else is fake. Anything else has been captured. Anything else will not serve your purpose or your intent. It's all a facade. So we need to end this madness. Their children is helping us. They are coming out and telling us, hey, this is why you're where, 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 where. This is why you can't go anywhere. This is why you're stuck. This is why we can't move forward. The information is there. And we thank God for Nina's because that's the only strategy that you cannot buy. We are not for sale. <laughs> like I have had, we know which man, which one is a woman and a man. We know them. I don't have a lot of We can tell you. We are not confused. Hmm? Neither did we go and wine and dine with them in, in an IMF and drank all their wines and start behaving like they are. We are indigenous people, so we still have our ancestors' DNA in us. And it tells us to protect our own kind. It tells us to speak for our own kind. It, te it tells us to fight for our own kind. And that's what we are here for. So anything else will not suffice until that 1999 fake fraudulent unit terrorist bandit constitution is taken down go ahead my sister thank you very much so to bring it to the table where we are today we're saying it's time to end british rule as world power it's time it has to end because we told you that this is still with slavery Colonialism, neocolonialism. Colonialism, and then they went, when they said end colonialism, they brought neocolonialism, which is financial colonialism. Slave trade, colonialism, neocolonialism must stop because these people are running criminality everywhere. Hmm. Targets of the indigenous peoples, like my sister has said, is to end colonialism, is to destroy that 1884-85 Berlin Conference that the enemy brought. 1884 balkanization of African nations that colonial monsters did, 1884-85. That is our target. It has to end because that is divide and conquer. Colonialism, that's what it is. Neocolonialism, financial colonialism have to end. We have told you, if you look at what is happening in your country, Nigeria as a case in point, Western countries through IMF and World Bank, they pressure your criminal African leaders to make Africans poor through their useless backward merry-go-round policies. <laughs> Give you an example. Privatization, privatization of state-owned businesses and companies. You saw when Obasanjo and Atiku, they carried it. Yes! These state-owned co companies, we need to privatize them. Meanwhile, they just want to buy them up for their colonial, agent, their colonial agents. They buy the companies that the people should own. Buy on behalf of the colonial masters. That's what they did. That's what they call privatization. You saw when uh, IBB did structural adjustment program. Tell me, that structural adjustment program that IBB did, what is the difference between it and what Buhari did 
And what Tinubu is currently do, doing, they are all dancing to the IMF, World Bank, to the colonial, Western colonial monsters. That's what they're doing. The valuation of African currencies. Today, they devalue Naira. They devalue it again. They devalue it. There is a target. They want to increase the suffering of the people. You saw Tinubu coming with, oh, I want to increase school fees of universities and unitary schools. Mm. By giving them loan. Mm. False. They are not trying to encourage education. If there's anything, they will, they will want to discourage education. Because if you are informed, you will not fall prey of what they're doing. And they will tell you, education is cheap in Nigeria. What do you mean by that? What is the standard of living in Nigeria? What mm. is the cost of living? Mm. What is minimum wage? That when you give somebody that loan, the person will be able to now work when he finishes going to school, to now pay for the loan. When there are no schools, no companies, no manufacturing anything that will take care of this whole thing and you give them loan. You say, I look at abroad. That's what they're doing. Why are you compa comparing banana to pineapple? Do you, do you have the $20 trillion that they're hiding in Cayman Island? Hmm. We want to tell our people to wake up. Electricity bill, the one that produces darkness. These things are not for the people. Okay, look at the increased fuel pump price in the name of removing subsidy. That never existed. The subsidy never existed. People have been raising invoices to collect subsidy money. NMPC and Nigerian government cannot even say who they have been paying the subsidy to. I the know. So oil market marketers. Mm -hmm. Look at uh, Orlando PLC, headed by Tinubu's uh, nephew, Wale Tinubu. They said they did not collect any subsidy. <laughs> so who did they give their uh, subsidy to? Mm. We heard that the money is running in trillions. In 2023, we heard it's about two, two, two trillion. 2022, 4.2 trillion. 2021, three trillion. 2020, two, one or two trillion. In our no trillion, when you're hearing the trillion, you're saying, what is this? What are they talking about? Yet, this country is number six oil producing country in the mm. world. They make policies to make small scale companies, which are the employer of labor, to close down. Today, they change money. Tomorrow, they upgrade Naira. Tomorrow, they downgrade Naira. They go it up, inflation. Mm. No, no single place that they're going. All they're doing is merry go round. Yeah. Wasting everybody's time. So you think they're doing something. Hmm? So you think they are doing something. So you think they're doing something. Just trying to make Nigerians suffer, make life difficult for them so that they nobody can ask them questions as they continue to do whatever they're doing. Because if they're serious about looking for the money, they know the criminals, they, which are their partners. They should go and meet them to return the money. But they will not now because they're criminals. They share this money intentionally. They did. Uh, they said that the House of Rep that they were conducting probe from 2013 to 2020 to find out where where the oil money went to. 23. The profile of 23 oil producing companies are not known. These are the people trading the oil in Nigeria. Their profile are not known. Hmm. They did not bring out anything from their probe. NMPC. We give contracts in billions and trillions to their friends. And when they turn around, they will increase for fuel pump price and people are suffering. Meanwhile, we heard that the that if even if the uh, pump price is 195 naira, that even at 195, that NMPC will making gain of 100 naira per liter. Mm. But see what it is now. Where is the money going to? No wonder all the criminal presidents always become petroleum minister. Tinubu, Buhario, all of them, mm -hmm. they must be on top of petroleum. 
they will be it will be direct to them so are they there to supervise what is going on no so that the money can come direct into their pockets and the pockets of their friends their brothers their wives their sisters their everybody and we're telling our people to wake up wake up so that we can fix this system so that we can deliver you thank you Thank you, my sister. All right, we're running out of time. We'll see you guys next week. Please help us to share this information. Um, this video is actually on our page on It's In Tidy, so you can watch it. You can also watch it by the show as we call out some of the important information on that video. So we will see you guys next week. We are not relenting. As no. much as we don't give up on our children, even when they do something bad, we stand there. We will hit you on the neck and knock you back to the land. The right things must be done and that's what we're here for so if you want to join what we are doing and come along with those that are for the truth for righteousness for the people that just want goodness and mercy for their people come and join us you have come to the right place and we are not going back until freedom true freedom reigns in our land until next week be safe bye bye